At this time of crisis, there's an abundance of grants, and in this video today, we're going to look at $10,000 monthly grants, a $25,000 grant, and also rental assistance grants. Okay, so before we begin, let's clear a very common misnomer that we all have had regarding grants. We tend to think that grants are immediate, but that's not true. Grants fall into two categories, short-term and long-term. The process is fairly simple and even though sometimes you might have to compete with other people to receive the grant, it depends upon your situation to see what sort of grant you require. Now if your needs are immediate then you need to go for short term grants and if you're looking for long term grants which is something that you currently don't need but it wouldn't hurt to have, if you have an immediate need then you should pick the short term ones. But there are billions and billions of grants untouched and unclaimed as people don't know about them so most of the time when you look for grants online they end up dead end. What starts online ends up offline and this gets people frustrated and so most of these grants remain unclaimed. So you don't have to go online to get these grants. Number 1. Rent Control Office Now the first way to do it is by talking to your rent control office. This is the best and the most convenient way to know about your grants. Your rent control is like a body of government that oversees the rent control laws to make units affordable. So these people in the local rent control offices are the people you have to talk to. They deal with all the different programs and deals that are available. They know about the grants and they'll be more than happy to share the information about the grants and help you apply for them. So these rent control officers will, will easily help you and all you gotta do is get to your local rent control office and speak to the person and learn about grants and apply for them. Number 2. Local Incubators These are the websites that are involved with the things like seed funding businesses and they're involved with coordinating small business loans and helping startups to help them get that boost to help them in their business. Mostly they're tied with some kind of NGO and other nonprofits. These people also have a lot of information on the grants that the government is offering. They also have information about grants that are privately funded or funded by the government and they can also deal with municipality controlled grant disbursement programs and these local incubators can be a great resource for you as they're linked with a lot of seed funding businesses. They're also tapped into crowd funds and they have a huge network that can help you in your business. These resources could help your business grow. Number 3. Regional SBA Offices Now these SBA offices generally have information online and they also give out all of their phone numbers so you can actually call them and it's awesome if they're aware of any grants that are active at the moment and they'll be more than happy to help. They have information on all of the regions and that area and their address is listed. They'll have information on all the grants that are available and it could be on the regional level or the local level or maybe the government level. They'll have all the information that you could ask for, all you have to do is google them and they'll be a call away. There's also a grant known as the Amherst Grant Foundation which is for women and they're helping a lot of women get a head start in their business which was actually made to honor Amber as she could not realize her dream of starting a business and so the foundation aims to help women who have business ideas but they cannot go for it because of the lack of resources. They actually offer a grant of $10,000 to any young ladies who are trying to realize their business dreams. And I'm sure that most of us did not know that there's such a foundation, but it was founded about 24 years ago in 1998, and every month they give about $10,000. The good thing about this foundation is that the application process is not as tedious as it could get. So, if you go over to ambergrantsforwomen.com, you can see there's a lot of women that have taken the benefits of the grant. We're gonna leave the link to the website in the description box if you'd like to check the website out, and you can simply apply by clicking on the application and filling in your information or website. They also offer a second grant which is for 25,000 Amber Grant and this is a yearly grant. Now the third and last grant that I'm going to share with you is the Rental Assistance Grant. So on this we're going to leave this link in the description box of the website which is needed to help payingbills.com where you can get short term crisis help and short term grants that can help you pay your bills. They're also going to help you with other resources that could financially help you but it's specifically for rent. They've got the emergency needs that many people are going to help you with other amenities that you might need like utilities, storage and stuff like that. So basically suppose let's say you're a victim and you don't have the money for the security deposit, the website is going to help you with. They could also help me with food and other necessary things so you need to help in your daily life with charity people who have issues if they might need help. These friends are based on the region so make sure to check your reason to find out and see how many grants you could possibly get from these foundations. There are billions and billions of dollars in unclaimed grants and this is solely because people don't know about it. So make sure to keep an eye out and look for these grants that could help you in your daily needs and your small businesses to thrive. Thank you so much for watching, subscribe for more and don't forget the bell, take care, stay safe and we'll see you in the next one.